And now, it's time for another Dice Tower Review with Tom Vassell. Today we're not really looking at a game, but instead we're looking at a puzzle. Um, Think Fun is known for a lot of their puzzles. I've been getting their puzzles for years. Uh, some of their puzzles are, are simple, a little challenging, others are super challenging, but most range in that, in that thing from okay, easy to play to super challenging. Most people know their game with the moving their little cars around. This one is again, has a revolving maze game. Revolving maze, is it hard? Let's see. You take your device, which is just a big piece of plastic here, and on it you're going to put some turnstiles. Uh, these turnstiles can easily spin around. That's a single one, and you have the double one, and then you have the triple one, and then you have this one here, which makes me think I'm going to a department store or to an amusement park. But you're going to set them up based on what the card tells you to do. So you can see here that this is a beginner card and it shows one set up like that. So to make that set up, we need to put one of these blue pieces here with a double turnstile there. And we need to put a single turnstile here and a single one here and another single one here and then the purple piece here. Now to solve the puzzle, because that's what you're trying to do. To solve the puzzle, you are simply trying to get this blue piece to the blue corner and the purple piece to the purple corner. Oh, so close. Okay, now, when you move these pieces, you can move them around all you want, but what you need, when you move one of these pieces here, these turnstiles, you can move with a turnstile, but here, a turnstile can never touch another turnstile. So this turnstile can't turn at all because these two pieces are blocking it. However, I could move this purple piece around and slide that one out of the way. And now blue can move it like this. However, blue can't move again because it would hit this one. So purple is now stuck. So blue has to go back and purple has to get out of there first. So then blue can move in. Then purple can come and knock this one out of the way. And then blue can move again. And now blue can go to his spot and purple can go over his there to his spot. Now you're trying to find the optimum way to get there, not necessarily the Tom Vassal way, which often is a very long convoluted way. And what I just showed you was the easiest one. Let me show you an example of an expert one, which is quite a bit harder. In fact, I can't even solve the expert ones at this point in time. But here I have the green piece and let's see, we use a string, a single one there and a triple one there and one here. And then I have the orange and the purple and the blue and a black piece. Now these black pieces of which there are four are simply there just to get in your way. You can move them around just like you can move a regular person. Here I'm trying to get all four into the correct corners and it seems like none of them are there. So maybe let's see if I, what can I do? Um, oh, I don't know. I can move that one like this and then like this and then like this and then move it over and then this orange one can go up here. And Oh, I'm getting it I think. Okay, well, I'm not going to try to solve it here because we don't want to watch a 50-minute video. But that's the expert ones. The game comes with a variety of cards that go from expert, and there's beginner, and intermediate, and advanced. Four different levels. And each of the cards on the back has a solution that shows you which piece to move where. And I'll try not to... I deliberately did not show you that one there because I don't want to show you how these solve. But that's how it works. Everything can be put into a bag that you can carry around rather than the box. Melly likes puzzles. What did you think of this one? I thought it was fun, but it's kind of challenging. And I had like a hard time moving all the pieces around, trying to get them to the corner. It got a little confusing. It's neat. I, I do like the revolving door aspect because that makes you think. You know, normally you're just trying to get pieces, but you need to make sure that you use pieces to kind of to open doors for other pieces or to move doors and positions. As I said in the overview, uh, the easy ones and the intermediate ones I could pull off, but once I got beyond that, that's hard. I mean, I, I, I'm getting to those advanced, but those expert ones, uh, not for me, probably not for a long time, but it has great component quality and it looks good on the table and it's something that I think you can go back and forth on. Any final thoughts? Oh, fun. 
It was fun? All right. <laughs> it's not a game, remember, but it is a puzzle, and it's one I think that you can even leave set up on a table somewhere, and people can come by and try it out. And a coffee table puzzle game. That's a pretty neat idea. Thanks so much for watching the Dice Tower videos. Find more great videos and reviews, as well as our top-rated audio podcast at Dicetower.com. You can also find the latest board game news at Dicetowernews.com. I'm Eric Summerer, and you've been watching The Dice Tower. The Dice Tower is sponsored by Fun Again Games, the world's best game source. Fun Again Games has over 5,000 games available. Check them out at funagain.com. <laughs>